best way to get better at programming is to practice. And in this example, we're going to look at some more math examples where you can raise something to a power and find the square root of an element. So let's take a quick look at what this is going to look like. Once again, we're going to need to include math.h. So we're going to say pound include math.h. Now you notice I have an int x and an int y. So I can say double answer equals pow. This is short for power. And you notice it's going to give me two values, both of which can be doubles. Of course, an integer can be converted automatically into doubles. So smaller data types can be converted into larger data types, no problem. So I'm going to say x comma y. So this is going to be 5, the value of x, raised to the third power. To verify this, I can say C out x raised to y equals answer. And then we'll do an end out. Now, if I want to find a square root, I can say C out the square root of answer is sqrt this is square root and i'll put an answer there now if i go and run this five raised to the third power is 125 that is correct the square root of 125 is 11.18 that sounds about right i know 11 squared would be 121 so 11.18 yeah that sounds about right so we always want to test our answers, make sure that, hey, am I using the right thing? This is especially true inside of our math functions because sometimes they're a little bit different than what we expect. For example, we saw in our previous video how our sine and cosine and the other functions that are associated with it, things like arc sine and tangent, stuff like that, those use radians, not degrees. And we a lot of times think in degrees, but it's using radians. So we want to double check on things like that. Also, you'll find that in some cases, we're going to use a natural log or we're going to use some other value like that instead of a base 10. And so we always want to be careful and double check and test our values whenever we're running an application like this. We can see that these are either known correct by memory and by working them out, or they are logically approximately correct just by looking at them. So we're confident that we're using the right tools and the right functions for this application. Now, the nice thing is if I hover over this function, for example, pal, I can see what the function is supposed to look like and I have the ability to search online. This will take me out to a new web page that'll tell me all about that function. So if I'm not getting an answer I expect, I can figure out why. If you like this video and it has helped you get better, please consider watching the rest of the series to get even better at C and C programming and consider subscribing to the channel.